So our next speaker is uh, Karthik Kamas from the Faculty of Science, who's going to speak on his thesis, Small Talk, How Proteins Help Microbes Communicate. Let us take a moment and try to understand how different living beings communicate with each other. We humans speak, dogs bark. How would tiny creatures such as fungus and bacteria, did you ever wonder, do they ever speak to each other? Yes, they do. Indeed, they whisper in a chemical language. Every tiny master has got a set of protein which synthesizes these chemicals inside the cell and then sends them out of the cell. These chemicals are received by the neighbors to understand the encoded message. The main point to be noted here, friends, is without this communication, no pathogen can survive inside host like us. So, if we understand this communication, or small talk in this case, we can turn these guys deaf, dumb, or blind and completely eradicate them out of our system. And this comes with interesting thing that my PhD is all about understanding this small talk at the, at the level of whole set of proteins, that is proteome, that encodes it. As a model system, I have chosen a bacteria, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and a fungus, Sclerosporium orientiacum, in the context of disease, cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is a life-threatening genetic disease which has no cure. Patients only survive to the age of 35 to 40. Unfortunately, this is obtained by birth. Hallmark of the disease is accumulation of thick mucus inside lungs and gastrointestinal tract, which makes a good home for these pathogens. So, most often patients die because of infection than just because of the disease alone. To understand this communication closely, I have been growing these pathogens inside laboratory by providing artificial lung condition. So far, I have found that the communication which goes on between these pathogens, which are pathogenic or disease-related pathogens, is quite different than control or laboratory ones. Proteins which are found to be differentially expressed through this study can be used as potential drug targets. Unlike present-day drugs such as antibiotics, which also harm hosts like us, these drugs will be very, very specific and will only target a set of pathogens. Ultimately, findings of my research will not only help patients of cystic fibrosis, but all those who suffer with fatal diseases that is caused by deadly microbes. Thank you. All right, so, uh, Saki. Well, thank you for a very interesting topic. Thank you. It is a topic that is close to my personal heart. <laughs> I think what we've learned um, is that a very difficult and technical uh, topic can be uh, communicated to, I think, all of us understand exactly what you do with pseudomonas and uh, fungus communication, if you disrupt that, uh, in a very targeted way, um, you can actually cure a disease. So if I were a funder, even in today's Canberra, I would think that it's a worthwhile, worthwhile um, project to be funded. Um, Thank you. I'm not pitching for you to come and ask for money. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I would look for a postdoc with you. But I think the other thing that I want to point out is that um, the way you communicated was you engaged uh, with us, you actually made eye contact with us, you, uh, the way we, it was not important, it wasn't possible for us to lose concentration while you were talking. So thank you very much. Thank you.